Hello my creators and welcome to another video. So today I want to share with you how I'm creating these scrap mini file folders that I will be sending out in snail mail. Um, and I will share with you how you can create them. Of course they don't have to be scrap mini file folders. You can do whatever you want with them. Uh, but I would like to share them with you. So what they are is a little mini file folder and then there are a bunch of scraps in here the recipient can take out. I always love to receive scraps from someone else because, well, they always have scraps that I don't have and I love to collage. So <clears throat> this is the system that we are going to create today. Uh, you don't need a lot of stuff, uh, but I am going to use some tools that I have um, for this. I also created this one with a map page and then there are also uh, scraps inside for the recipient. So what we need first of all is your trim paper trimmer um, or however you want to cut your paper and we are going to cut our paper to size. Uh, our paper needs to be seven by four and a half. So I have this double-sided paper with this weird stuff so I want to have this uh, so then this part needs to be four and a half. I have to think of this because it's directional, but if you don't have any directional paper, just cut it. So four and a half, and then this needs to be seven. And I would like to have this side. So this is going to be seven inches. Uh, we have this piece left over, so it's, that would be a nice scrap on the inside. And then we are going to score it at three and a half, so it is folded in the middle. So let's see. Now it is folded. So you need a piece that is seven inches by four and a half inches, and you're going to score it at three and a half, so you have this little booklet. Then we also need uh, a little piece on the inside for the scraps to stay in. And I have this scrap piece of map. Um, it doesn't really matter how big your piece is, as long uh, as the paper has enough room to stay under it. So this piece is one inch. I will try to cut it more straight. Let's see if I can manage. And then you need this to be five inches. So I have it one inch by five inches. And then we are going to score at a quarter of an inch. So just a tiny, tiny gluing spot. That's it. So a score at one a quarter inch. You're going to fold these in. And then that is your base on the inside. So now we don't need our scoring and cutting tool anymore. So I put that aside. Next step is to create the file folder part. And I am using my envelope punch board for that um, using a notch maker for that um, if you don't have that you can also grab of course a tab and just trace around it and cut it um, but this is how i'm going to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to line up this side the top side with two and a quarter inch and then i'm making a notch and then i'm lining the top in the middle, making a notch. So then this is what we have on this side, but of course we also want to have a tab shape on the other side. So we are going to flip around and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to notch at two and a quarter inch. And then I'm also going to do that again, lining it up with the middle. Um, now we still, of course, have these um, separate or extra pieces left. We need to cut them off. I like to 
score on um, on these lines so I know where to cut it off but you can do it however you like of course I like to take my scissors so I'm just scoring this so I know where to cut uh, you can also do this with your scoreboard I did it with my scoreboard before but it, I don't want to grab the big thing again so just using the envelope part So now you are going to, you have this score line here and you're going to cut off this excess part with your scissors or if you rather use a knife then you take your knife, if you rather use your cutting board then you take your cutting board. It's however you want to cut your papers. So I'm going to cut this off as well to check if I see my score line. I do the score line because then I know for certain I end up in the valley of the notch. So now this is our file folder shape and we have our little thingy on the inside. But of course it looks very new. So I am going to ink it with um, some Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. I just bought this and it is a very nice color. It makes me really happy. It's a bit different from the ones that I already had. So a bit more grayish brown. Um, yeah, so I'm very much enjoying it. So I'm going to ink up all the edges. I'm also going to ink up the spine. And then I will be back because, oh, well, we're not done yet right, <laughs> yet, right? So I have inked up all my pieces, uh, but the inside is still a bit plain. So I am going to take a uh, Tim Holtz stamp set. This is faded type. And I will do some stamping on the inside of this folder uh, because it's going to be a very uh, functional folder um, there will be not be a lot of decoration of course i'm going to use the archival ink vintage photo i just got this and uh, i like it so i'm just going to take this stamp and a piece of paper underneath and i want to stamp it so you're not going to see the stamp on the tabs uh, because this will be showing. It also doesn't have to be perfect stamping. It's just for a little bit of texture and interest when you open up the file folder. Now this has a very nice pattern on the inside. But sometimes not all papers have these very nice patterns, right? So then you need to do a little bit more of an enhancing. So, and then I also have this uh, stamp that says copy. It's copy. I think it's a library stamp or something. I got it at a thrift shop. I thought it was very cool. So I'm going to stamp this as well on some random spots to give a little bit more interest. Of course, you can decorate it as little or as much as you like. That is completely up to you. No. Next step is for us to glue this part down. So this part will be here and we will stick our scraps underneath uh, and it fits perfectly. So we're just going to grab a bit of glue and I made these gluing flaps so you could add maximum space of this little file folder with the scraps. So you don't lose any of the gluing and that you could stick multiple pieces underneath because I would like to stick 10 scraps underneath here for my recipient. I think it's a nice goodie, something a little bit different. So now we stuck this part down. Let this dry before you stick your um scraps in 
course we need to decorate it a little bit and I thought I would want to decorate this a little bit with some lace and some circles. So I have my circle punches here. You can decorate it however you like. You don't have to do what I do, of course, because this is what I do. <laughs> And you don't you don't have to do that. So I know I would like to have one of this. This is an atlas page, but I really like this. Uh, so I want to have that on the inside. So I'm going to cut a circle, a two inch circle out of that. And then I throw my punch, I'm sorry. Then I need a bigger circle, some vintage book page. Oh, I can't get it up into the text, okay. But I do have another piece here. I have all kinds of scraps here on the side because I know I want to add scraps, of course. Some text. Now don't throw the punch again. So let's see. Put this up here. Yes, I like it. Um, some more ground. Espresso, of course. Like I said, you can decorate it however you like. I've been feeling these circles now, but you can do whatever you want. You can do labels or another kind of collage or anything you feel like. So let's stick this circle down. I know this book page doesn't take any glue sticks, so that's a bit sad. So I have to take some other glue for that. So I will. Some glue. Stick this on here. I think that looks lovely. And then I want to add this here, but I want to put a little bit of lace underneath. Just for a little bit of a different, you know, different texture. Nothing too difficult or fancy. I also bought this lace at a thrift store, but I do believe it's from Action. Let's see. Yes. Now, I don't feel the need to glue down the lace, so I will just leave it there because I'm going to glue this circle down on top of it. I'm going to grab some more glue. I think enough glue. Ooh, grab the circle. And oh, 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 lace, stay on your spot. Yes. Perfect. But now it's still a little bit plain. So. Let's add something else. I have this die uh, that got stamps or a stamp shape. So I did so with some book pages and then I got these with flowers on them. Super cool. Love them. So I think I'm going to add one of these. You can also add, of course, real stamps. I did that with... Uh, one of these. Here I have a real stamp, a real use stamp on here. But for this I'm going for uh, this one from a book page I created. So, more ground espresso. And let's stick that down. But this time with a glue stick. <laughs> I also don't know if I'm in frame. I really hate this glue stick. This is why I hate it, because it goos. It goos, it smudges, it is... Uh, I really hate it. Because now there's glue everywhere on my project. But okay. I'm going to stick this down. I'm going to find a baby wipe to put this glue on. Be right back. Yeah, so I also add a bit of the baby wipe on here. So maybe it will oxidize very nicely because I use the distress oxide. Why is this glue everywhere? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I almost put it in my hair. 
So now we have this and then I also uh, bought myself a little gift, the correspondence um, Tim Holt stamp set. I'm, I'm, I love it so, so much. So I found this stamp from the stamp set as charge and I thought it would look very cool. And then the handle with care. And I'm just going to stamp these with uh, archival ink. So let's go. Let's stamp the charge. Let's hope I'm not in my in frame with my face. I think I'm doing actually pretty well. I adjusted the camera a little bit, so um, it's not as close to my head. It's a little bit more in the back of my desk and I think that helps a lot and then the handle with care about here I could also stand up I guess but well you know um then we want or I want at least I thought something was still uh missing uh but that's just me I mean it looks pretty cute right um but I thought something was still missing, so I have a lot of the Tim Holtz words. I thought I would add some, and then I'm going to check if I want to have a white one or a black one. I guess because this is a very light colored scrap folder, I would like to have a dark one for the contrast. Um, so I'm just taking a quote, and this time I'm taking keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. And... Keep some room in your heart. I will cut it here, even though it doesn't make any sense to put it there, but you know, it looks nice. Um, about here. That is crooked because I'm not on top of it. Usually, I also like to add a little bit of glue on these, but because um, they are a little bit old. I have had them in my stash for quite some time. So they are losing their stick a little bit. But then this is our little scrappy folder from the outside. But then of course we also need to do some stuff on the inside. So I will show you how I add my scraps. I add tiny scraps, but I also make scraps to size. <laughs> and what I do, this is super simple and very easy to do is I just lay my scrap inside, line it up, and I think, okay, this is a nice size, kind of straight, tear it, and I want to put this in. Now you can put them in one by one. This is sticking a little bit, but I just layer them on top. So if they are about this size, I know they will fit in. Um, so I'm going to grab a scrap of this, or make a scrap of this book page. Um, keeping my file folder as a reference again, making sure I'm kind of straight. And putting this aside. Then, let's see. Tear it here. And I have another scrap. I am doing about uh, 10 scraps in each folder. But of course it's up to you what you want to do. I would like to have some map in here. I think that would look nice. So I'm going to tear that here. Let's see. And then it needs need to lose a little bit more. So that is how I do my scraps. I'll create some, I will create 10 pieces of this and then I just fold them in here. Like so. I do think you get the gist of me, me tearing scraps. So I don't have to continue to do that, but I will add more for the recipient. Like I said, about 10 sheets, 
And then there's one thing I still want to do because it looks a little bit boring. And that is this part. And I have these tiny booklets, vellum booklets, thingies. I got from oh, your creative studio or AliExpress. I like to use these. Um, so I think this is a nice color that will fit there. And then I will pick a flower, um, which I think would look nice in this folder. I think this flower. I'm going to attach that on top of the, this little belly band. Um, we'll ink a little bit. Ink, ink, ink. With the ground espresso. And once you have stuck these down, your mini file folder is ready to go. I do use um, double sided tape for this. I guesstimate a little bit how much I need because um, vellum can be a little iffy with glue and buckle. Um, so I thought I would use some double sided tape, but do however you want to do this. So let's see. I want to have this piece like so and then this piece yeah so yeah so I guess I made a little bit until where I need double side tape you also don't need a lot for a six to stick taking off this tape and then stick this on. So also when the scraps go out, it still looks a little bit nice. Um, the recipient can use it again, of course, or for something else. Um, and this is the tiny uh, scrap folder that I will send out to my to my pen pals. So yeah, you can make them from all kinds of papers. I use scrapbook paper. This is a map page. You can you make them from. Um, uh, book pages if you would like. I also have some that are just the file folders with the maps so I don't know you can also add a hidden journaling spot in there decorated and put that in your own journal. Maybe I will do a journal with me with these so you can see how you can use them again. But these will get a new home with a uh, snail mail. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And until next time, bye!